Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you haven't been here before, my name is Kate K and welcome to my space on the internet. I post videos twice a week, one on a theatre Tuesday which is a theatre related video and the other one I'm sort of trying to schedule in on a Saturday and that is anything sort of lifestyle, beauty, um, anything really, challenge videos as well. So if that's something that you're interested in then make sure you subscribe, like and comment. If you haven't guessed by the title then today I'm going to be talking about the musical theatre performance course at Chichester University which is what I graduated in last year. Last year. I honestly cannot believe how quick this year has gone like it's incredible uh the, the second years still called them second years even though the third, third years and they're now graduates crazy um are about to graduate this coming weekend don't know where time has gone um and basically I wanted to do this video because when I was going to uni I felt like I had nothing to sort of go to in the sense of like knowing everything about the course and I just wanted to have somebody there to you know ask a lot of questions to without bugging them basically. There was a couple of um, first years I want to say at the time, would, would they be first years? Yeah they would have been first years that I messaged but I just felt like I was hassling them which is why I've just taken this video so that people who are going to try or people who are auditioning to go there next year, who knows, um, can I have a video to watch. So go ahead, grab a tea or a coffee, I've got a coffee because it's half nine in the morning and let's get straight into the video. I do just want to say before I start this that I had the absolute best three years of my life at uni, like honestly, when I think of going there, like going back there and visiting, my heart actually drops, that's how much I miss it and I do miss everyone on my course and I miss the campus, I miss the lecturers, everybody because it is literally your family when you're there. But I do just want to say that anything that I say in this video is not against anyone or anything at Chai Uni, it's my personal opinion, things that could have been improved on the course, but that goes to say that the course is incredible without me even saying these things like it's just little things because I'm such a picky person so I just want to explain before I get into the video that I was on musical theatre performance for one year and I was on a music and musical theatre for two years I auditioned back in 2014 for triple threat I didn't get into that course so I was put down onto the second musical theatre course which was music and musical theatre and then the next one was I think um acting for film and then arts development, I want to say, Some, something along those lines. So there are a lot of musical theatre courses there, but I auditioned specifically for Triple Threat. And then two years into my original course, Music and Musical Theatre, Andrew Wright, who is the course leader who you'll meet if you go to an open day, who you'll meet if you get into the, um, the course, who you'll meet if you're going to audition. He is the course leader of Musical Theatre Performance, and he basically came up with this idea, and he pitched it to everybody, and he said, people who actually want to audition, they can, um, there'll be 50 spaces basically to get into and the course course will run from blah 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 and your audition dates will be blah blah blah. So um, I auditioned in 2006, uh, no, 17, no, 16 I think, <laughs> I think 16, yeah. I don't know how many people actually auditioned, maybe about 75 to 100 I want to say but I, I could be making that up, I don't know. Um, and as I said, there was 50 people on the course, but only 25 people got in and then one dropped out as well because the course is really full on. Um, so when we went to graduation, there was actually 24 people graduating from my year on musical theatre performance. Audition, I'm not really going to talk too much about. If you do want to know about the audition, then just message me because uh, I can give you a little bit of advice. But honestly, I don't know how they run now. Bearing in mind, there have been three auditions now for this course. So my year, the second years that are just graduating, and then the new year the new people who are coming on as well. Oh no, there's been four sets actually, because the first year as well, so I think four four sets of auditions now for this course. So they could have changed by now, which is why I'm not gonna talk about them on this video. So I wanna start off by going through like what this course provides you, like what you're getting, um, what your sort of timetable will look like. I'm not gonna show you my timetable because I was third year on this course, so it's gonna look very different to freshers. So with your dance classes, you get four different dance styles and you get eight hours a week. Uh, so it's one one lesson is one hour and you get ballet contemporary jazz and tap um, now The one hour used to be an hour and a half on my old course And then what Andy done is he split um, He basically took two hours and split it in half because we used to get an hour and a half an hour and a half was a little bit too much Like you'd go through an hour of your lesson and then your concentration would start to dip because you'd be doing the same routine Maybe over and over again Andy basically came up with the idea of doing ballet twice a week for an hour Which really does work really really well 
So say if you had ballet on a Monday, you'd be doing like bar work for the majority of the lesson and then uh, towards the end of the lesson you'd be doing more of the centrepieces and your assessments and things like that. So it really does help having the two hours split down. As well as those, um, Chai Uni used to run student-led classes. I don't know if they still do that, but it might be something that they, they are doing or you could maybe offer yourself to do one and they might start up again. And student-led classes were basically students who led their own lessons. So there was um, flexibility, point class, um, your general, you know, jazz, tap, ballet, contemporary, and then there was also some like hip hop and things like that as well. So it was really fun to have those classes as well. I personally only attended one, I think, because my timetable was just too full on. As well as that, if that is still not enough dance for you, there is a dance society that you can join that runs at some point throughout the week. I never joined, so I don't actually know. There's also cheerleading, and you can also book the um, studios throughout the week when the lessons aren't on. In addition to all of those dance classes, in your third year, you will also get audition prep slash tech, whatever you want to call it, added to your timetable. Now, that is an hour and a half of pure dance. Um, and basically, uh, for example, when, when I was there, we done... Uh, a different style every single week so Evan who was our teacher would say this week your hint is blah 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 um try and figure out the show and make sure you dress appropriately or he would say this week you're auditioning for hairspray please wear this this and this bring those tap shoes and you basically have to come prepared to your class um he teaches you a routine sometimes you'll say your name you'll step forward and you'll do like a pirouette or you'll do a time step and things like that or you also do pantomime audition, cruise auditions, it sort of depends on the teacher that you have. Um, we used to get told who gets cast and who doesn't get cast, the things that you need to be improving on before you go to auditions in the industry. In the industry. In the industry and things like that. So um, it is a really helpful class. Now moving on to singing, this is one of the things that I would probably improve on the course because um, with your singing lessons, I don't know, maybe it would have been changed by now, but I don't think it had been. Um, with your singing lesson, you get a one-to-one um, like a private sort of one-to-one -one lesson with your singing teacher um, and that is only 30 minutes. Now the problem was with the 30 minutes was that, you know, by the time you get into your class, I used to have a really lovely teacher called Will Paul, if he is still there then make sure you grab him because he was amazing. But you would come in, you would, you know, you would catch up with your singing teacher because you don't just walk in and say, all right, let's warm up, you know. So we used to have a chat about things which took about five minutes and then by the time you've warmed up, you probably sing the song that you actually brought to your singing lesson once or you sing it once, he gives you feedback, you start singing it and that's it, time's up. If it was an hour, it would literally be perfect. You know, you'd have the time without stressing, oh my gosh, my lesson is literally just about to finish. So I feel like that's one of the things that should be improved on that course. But other than that, so with your singing, you get the half an hour one-to-one -one, um, private lesson with your singing teacher. And then on the course, there's also three different things that are offered with your singing. So the first one is vocal rep. Um, vocal rep is amazing. And I'm pretty sure you do do it from freshers right up to third year which I cannot imagine what your rep would look like when you leave if you had three years to sort it out. So every week the category would change so uh, there was different categories like Disney, comedy, um, song time, um, auditions for Dream Girls we had, auditions for Hamilton. So your category changes every single week basically and what you have to do is you either bring one or two songs to the lesson and you basically audition or you show the people what you want to put into your rep. Also you get ensembles which is obviously ensembles so you get put into a group my year group was I think it was either six to eight people per a grouping basically you get taught different types of songs every single lesson uh, you get put into different vocal groups so you can build up your harmony skills uh, so you're comfortable you know if you do end up going to an audition in in, in in, 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 in the industry and they say uh, okay get into your vocal part and I want you to learn this harmony like straight away you know you're like do you know what I can do it give me it right now son. The good thing about this lesson is that you'll never be in the same vocal group for every single song so I think it was for our assessments I think we had three or two songs and you would change the vocal grouping that you were in unless you were lucky enough to stay in the same one. And the last thing is a voice class it's not really singing but it still counts as voice um, I'm not going to talk too much about this lesson because honestly, this is one of the things I would probably take off the timetable. It was the biggest load of, I don't even know, class that I ever attended at uni. I absolutely hated this class. I just did not understand that class. I did not understand what I was there for. I didn't understand what I was doing. So yeah, I'm just not going to talk about voice class because it's just...
And once again, as well as dance, if that's not enough hours for you, there are so many more things that you can be doing on campus. There is a musical theatre society that runs every single week and they do amazing, amazing shows. I'll list a couple of the shows that they've done for the last couple of years down here. Um, if you are interested in doing choreography and directing and things like that, you can put yourself up as a creative for society. And I'm pretty sure it will probably run the same where the society members do vote what creative they want for every single team. And you get to audition for roles, you get to do concerts, um, it's a really really fun thing to be doing for your first and your second year I think I didn't do it for my third year but obviously it is a personal choice if you want to go ahead and do that for your third year there are also um, singer lesson drop-ins so obviously if you feel like you need an extra singer lesson then you can sign up for an extra singer lesson it's in the music block uh, Will Paul does them every single week I think on a Thursday if he's changed them I don't know a free 30 minute singing lesson so great and then acting classes so you get three different ones as well per week your first one would be your acting technique one which is like your um stanislavski your meisner um, and that will most likely be with a guy called jason pitt who is an absolute legend on the campus um and his classes are really really fun you do learn some really great things uh one of the lessons is extremely emotional if he's still doing it and then your second one would be with jamie aspinham which is another bloody legend on the campus i feel like all of the acting teachers are just such legends there um, um, and that would be your scripted work, so you'd be working on a script, uh, it might change every single week, it might not. For your assessments, obviously you would be working on those for a longer time, but the scripts might change every single week for the first semester. And then your last one would be play, which would be rehearsing a play. Um, we done Laundry Girls and Five Girls Wearing the Same Dress, I think, and that was our two assessment pieces. And once again, if that is not enough acting for you, there is so much more that you can be doing on campus. One of the things is Acting Society, and they put on one a play per semester, I'm pretty sure, if that's still running, but it was when I was there. As well as all of these things on your timetable, there are two more things uh, which change every single semester, unless you're in third year, then one of the things stays on the whole time. So these are just examples. They might have changed, they might have not, I don't know. In pressures, you'll have two lectures. So one of them might be like musical, grammar, for example, um, where you'll just do like a little test to get your grade at the end, uh, you'll learn, you know, musical grammar basically, and I wasn't very good at it, so I'm not even going to try and use some terminology in this, because I will just fail. And one of the other things might be British Musical Theatre, which obviously you learn about British Musical Theatre, it's in a title, and then you do an essay on it, and that would be your assessment for your um, first year. Your second year might be something like Contemporary Musical Theatre, which is an exam, I'm pretty sure that MTP do do that, I want to say that they do. Um, I decided to opt out of it. I don't think you can anymore, which is a shame, but I'm not good at exams at all. So I've done opera and I've done an essay instead. One of the other things in your second year might be a industry talk, uh, which every single week you talk about the industry, you talk about actors, you talk about um, directors, you talk about choreographers, you talk about freelancing, you talk about agents, and basically you get other industry people coming in and talking to you, and at the end you get assessed on a portfolio, so you'd pick like an actor, an agent, blah, 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 whatever you want to pick, and you'd have to build a portfolio up of everything that they do. Um, yeah, it's, bas it's basically just a portfolio of the person that you pick. I think I'd done an agent uh, because I wanted to learn more about agents before I left, and I feel like that's a really good one to pick, to be honest, because you do need to know how snaky some agents can be. And then there is your third year modules, which I would say they're the best modules that you are going to be doing whilst at uni. So you get your swing project, which runs throughout the whole of your third year, and basically you get put into a group, um, you get given a musical, every single group does the same musical, um, that's exactly the same, script is exactly the same, but the only thing is that you get to direct and choreograph it yourselves, so the staging will be completely different for every single group. The amount of characters that you learn will change to how many people you have in your year group. I think we learned 12 and then the year group now might have learned about 16, I think it was, roughly about that. And basically you get graded on how well you know every single character's tracks on the day you all sit down and Andy will pull out um, a name of a character. For example, we done Sue's call, so he'll pick out Maisie and he'll pick out the name Katie or something like that. So you get graded on how well you know all of your tracks. The other thing that you do in third year is a community project. So this project is um, basically you get put into a group or you pick your group and you build a workshop that you want to take to a specific location. We took it to a theatre school and uh, you basically film your workshop and you do, I think it is an essay, um, and you cut down the video showing the best bits. You need to make sure that every single person is in the video as well and you get assessed on how well you've done that. And the last thing as well is devising projects. This was honestly the 
best week like at uni one of the absolute best weeks ever and basically you get put into a group or you pick a group once again um and you devise a musical theatre show within three days which is incredible because when else are you going to get to do that in life well there is two options for that module though so there is theatre and there's musical theatre if you really want to do musical theatre when it does come to picking which one you're going to do then make sure you do get in there first because it is first come first served for musical theatre because the spaces are limited so as you can tell by this point the course is quite full on you're getting a lot of contact hours which is not what I was getting for the first two years I'm not saying that the other courses are bad but if you do want something that's a bit full on that is really similar to a drama school then musical theatre performance is the course for you and guess what I'm still not finished yet there is still more to add to this course so musical theatre performance runs shows every single year how incredible and um, basically you get industry professionals coming in directors choreographers who cast the show and you get to do it at an amazing theatre in Bognor Regis. I'm going to list a couple of the shows down below that we have done for the last couple of years because they're incredible. Um, basically there are three main productions per year, there are two um, plays, there is one showcase which is at the start of every single year for the freshers as like a welcome showcase to show them what sort of talent we have at the uni. Sadly you do have to audition for these shows, roughly there can be 75 people to 200 people auditioning, it depends on the show and how many people are interested in it and roughly 24 to 27 people get cast depending on the show which is quite sad because that means a big amount of people don't get cast uh, sadly a lot of my friends didn't get cast throughout uni I feel like that's one of the things that should be improved on the castability of the shows some people don't get into a show throughout their whole uni life which is just so sad and they're so talented and it does put people down but that's life and that's the industry I guess it's just going to happen to you on the outside so yeah as you can tell the shows are really competitive they really are some of the auditions are really stressful some of the auditions are really demanding the dance calls are hard the singing calls are stressful <laughs> but uh it's fun at the end of the day and when you do get cast you feel absolutely incredible you feel like you've actually like really improved so you don't get to audition for the shows when you're a fresher it's sort of like a settling down year for my second year i was only cast on one show and i was really sad but it sort of gave me more of a drive to push myself and to really improve and because I pushed myself so hard and I really, really wanted to improve and I wanted to show the creative team and my lecturers that I can do it, I got into every single show in third year, which was incredible. And I was so grateful and happy to be in those shows because they are just like the highlight. They are really intense. Sometimes you can be in rehearsals for 12 hours a day. Uh, sometimes you can be in for six days a week. Sometimes you might not even have a day off for the whole week. So it's really fun. They're incredible. They're so rewarding. You get to meet so many lovely industry professionals. You get to build bonds with second years, with young years, with old years that you wouldn't be able to have if you didn't get into those shows together. So as I said, there's really not a lot of negatives to this course. If you're really thinking of going to Chichester, I would say do it because honestly, it will probably be the best three years of your life. If you don't like it, then I'll be really shocked that you won't like it because I absolutely loved it. I hated the first week that I arrived. I was really homesick. My parents were really sad as well, so I'm not surprised that I was homesick. If you are a person that does get homesick, that's normal, everybody does, but I feel like Chai is the place to be if you're really struggling to be away from home. If you want to move out, some people just ended up staying at home and they uh, went to uni every single day from home, which I cannot imagine doing. But Chai is literally just like the biggest family. Like my course mates, my 24 people that are on my course, we were literally just like so happy to be around each other. My girls, I cannot imagine going to uni and not meeting them. Nick, I can't imagine not meeting you because you're not part of the girls, but you're also part of the crew, do you know what I mean, you know? And that is pretty much the end of the video. I don't really know what else I can put in here, but I don't want to make it too long. As I said, if there is anything anything and I mean like anything then please comment down below message me because I'm so happy to talk about this course with you guys because I do love it it's got such a big place in my heart I really do miss uni it was honestly the best three years of my life so if there is absolutely anything that you guys want to know about then make sure you comment down below and once again I hope you enjoyed this theatre Tuesday video and I'll see you guys next week bye